Today we're out here working on the Chevette. Uh, in this video we're going to be working on getting this thing ready to maybe make some boost soon. Uh, first thing I'm doing, not related to boost, I've got this piece of uh, pipe here that I'm going to be using to make a water a radiator hose because this radiator hose came out of here and it ran right past here and was actually touching the wastegate so that won't work once we're actually making boost when that thing starts getting hot so I'm gonna build me a metal pipe that comes down and goes straight down in front of the motor and then goes back to the radiator okay we've got the pipes kind of cut kind of how we want them but uh, the thing is is that this pipe that goes down is going to be real close to the turbo and if we roll the whole thing out like this then it's kind of in the wrong spot so instead of putting a pie cut in here we're gonna have this welded solid but we're gonna put a bend in that with our pipe bender so that it can go kind of like that there and then we'll have another piece that goes from the end of that to get closer to the radiator neck Okay, got the whole pipe sitting here, just tacked together. That's what it looks like. We made this end bigger with the uh, bend pack bender that we've got, so that it'll be the same diameter as my lower radiator uh, outlet. And uh, we're going to get that welded on, get this joint here welded on, and then probably clean it up and paint it. And I'll also, I'm going to weld around these edges as a little bit of a lip so that the pipe will have, or the hose clamp will have something to grab onto so that we don't have hoses popping off. We've got this water pipe kind of sitting where it goes in the car. Got a piece of hose on the top. Don't have anything for the bottom. So we're waiting on that. And while we're waiting on that, I got some V bands for the exhaust. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these headers off and cut the three bolt flanges off because. There's no way to get a wrench in there to tighten them up, and they always leak, so we're going to cut those off, put V-bands on them, and try to get this crossover pipe to quit leaking. Okay, fast forward a couple days from the last clip I showed. Um, got the car up in the air. This is not the motor out of the car. This is another LT1 that we had sitting out back that's no good. So... My motor still in there, but what I'm doing is I'm getting the exhaust off of my car, putting it on this motor so that I can mock it up because what I'm planning on doing is cutting these uh, flanges off here and move, moving those pipes down a little bit. And then I've got some V-bands, just some regular two and a half inch V-bands to weld on. And I want to do this on an engine that's not in the car so I can try to keep everything bolted together to avoid the warping that I had last time. So I'm gonna get all this mocked up and see how it looks, and then we'll get to cutting it apart. As you can see, it wasn't off by much, but it's off by enough that it's really hard to get on the car, especially when it's in the car. Um, and these here, what I did is I just welded pieces of all thread in to make little studs because like this bolt here is really hard to get to because of the way the pipe bends. And these ones on the inside, let me see if I can turn my flashlight on. you can see that there's really uh, no room in here to put a, a, a nut or a bolt through especially whenever there's a, normally a plug right here because this is the knock sensor hole and obviously a knock sensor won't fit so I just have mine plugged off <clears throat> and this side over here isn't any better it's got a big casting boss or something right there underneath the inside bolt so that's the way I welded those in there, but to get rid of that problem, I'm just going to cut those off and probably uh, probably bring these pipes up just a little bit and then weld the V-bands so then I have plenty of room to get the V-bands and stuff on there. And now for giggles, we're going to throw the turbo on here so we can get the 
flange braced up where it needs to go. So if we cut everything, hopefully we can get this put back where the turbo is at least still in the same spot. Probably should bolt that on first. Okay, we got this bolted on now. It shouldn't fall off. Now we'll set the turbo up on it. Remember how it goes. <clears throat> and then we'll get our brace put back in, which sets in here and make sure it's nice and solid so that if we cut these pipes off, hopefully the orientation of the turbo doesn't move so our exhaust and everything still works. Okay, got the brace on here, and I just re-welded it because it actually broke in half on the car because it had been cut once before because it never really lined up that good, and so I just had it, I had it originally cut in half and welded it, but I didn't uh, have a good access to it because I was in the car, so now it's welded pretty solid. That should not break. Um, so we'll probably paint that eventually, but for now this is all pretty solid, so I'll go ahead and get to cutting the little three bolt flanges off, which I'll probably save those, maybe use them on something else. But the only thing I have to do is swap sides with the headers, because I didn't realize when I put them on that this header is the one for the driver's side, because I beat the heck out of it to clear the steering. So I'll swap the sides with them so that whenever I do my adjustments that they'll still work. And we'll start doing that. We're going to start by cutting this flange off the manifold. And we'll just see how much it moves. If this blade will even cut through here. Okay, we kind of got this mocked up on here where it's going to go. Uh, we got the V-band sitting there, so it'll have plenty of room. We were going to put it down here, but I didn't want it to run into the block and not be able to get the clamp on. So we got that. Now all we need is a little piece of pipe to go from here to this V-band. And we'll get all that tacked together, and then I'm going to weld as much as I can all the way around on all the sides and let it cool before I uh, unbolt it from the car. And hopefully that'll keep it from warping. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, got this piece test fit up in here. I like how it's sitting. I can get to most of it to weld it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start welding. I'm gonna go real slow and jump around, try to keep it from warping. And once this side gets done being welded, we'll leave it all bolted together. And then jump over here to this side and cut it off and do the same thing. So hopefully we can have it where it fits without being warped and keep the turbo in close to the same spot. Got this side pretty much all welded up. Once it cools and we got it off, I'll make sure there aren't any holes and then I'll uh, touch them up if there are any. But I'm gonna let this side cool off nice and then we'll get started on this side, cutting it apart and doing basically the exact same thing. So hopefully when we put it back together, we don't have any exhaust leaks and our pipe isn't uh, in such a bind when it's on there. Right 
the middle of a well because of how this is put together. Okay, we got the headers off, finished welding them up on the bench, any holes we couldn't get to with them bolted to the motor. And we've got the crossover pipe off, it's all welded, ready to go back on, didn't film taken off, but it was nice that we un unbolted one thing at a time and nothing moved, so it doesn't seem to be warped much. So we're going to get this old hunk of junk out of the way and then let this hunk of junk down off the lift so we can get the exhaust put back on. Okay, we got this thing back together. Everything seemed to go pretty good. Uh, we recalibrated the O2 sensor while we had it apart. And uh, we're going to fire it up, see how bad the exhaust is leaking now. Can't run it for very long because I still don't have my piece of radiator hose for this uh, coolant pipe I made. I'll get ready to start this thing up. Every time he looks at this thing, no matter what he's looking at, it's terrible. It's terrible. Have you seen it? <laughs> I've looked at it a time or two, yeah. Can't find it. What'd you lose? Look, there's lights. There's just no room for spark plug wires. Well, have you thought about using Bluetooth? No, Perfect. Fart up! That's for the gauge that this one. else needs to be plugged in. Fire in the deep. Okay, still waiting on this piece of hose that goes on our lower radiator there. Um, we're going to end this video here. Next time you see this car, hopefully we'll have got a tune for it so we can actually drive it with the boost. I uh, got new injectors and everything to throw in it, so we'll just do that off camera. And then next time you see it, hopefully it'll be running uh, on boost and this will be doing more than just acting like a muffler. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. and. Leave a comment below. We've got more projects coming up.